good day everyone uh, hope you guys are having a good uh, um, Wednesday nice weather cold um, manageable but uh, let's deep tap deep down into what I have for you today so let's let's quickly go through um, we know currently um, this is uh, about UK. Um, we know currently that uh, um, UK inflation rate has risen. Currently, um, it's around eleven percent, uh, which is more more than what the Bank of England's uh, target. And currently, the Bank of England's uh, is looking at three percent, but inflation's has st stood by up. Uh, by 11 percent um and you all know that uh what that means on the price of uh, food and on the price of energy as well as on the price of all any other kind of consumables uh products uh that means that uh, also the the price on also on household goods as well and the household prices as well and the prices of rent. Uh, significantly, that will definitely have effect on uh, on all these items that I've just listed. So, but according to the reports that uh, UK inflation rates have hit at least 40, it's now currently 11, 11%, which is uh, what we experienced uh, um, last 40, 41 years ago. And uh, Definitely, that is definitely bringing the cost of uh, a living, a, a kind of strenuous on, on people's uh, disposable income. So I'm not sure. Is, is it time to, to, to be worried or is it the time to just see how you can project yourself, manage your resources um, uh, during this uh, unprecedented uh, period of time, which a lot of people are currently uh, going through. And we also know that uh, when uh, Lee Truss uh, was uh, in power for 41 days, I think she introduced a two years energy uh, price cap, uh, which definitely uh, maybe about just kind of energy caps, about 2,500. That is a generous package that is given to a household uh, in order to manage, the, uh, manage the, uh, everybody that is going through the energy price high, uh, bill high, uh, just to help them in, 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 in terms of not allowing them to pay to a lot of uh, uh, costs when it comes to energy. But uh, we know that uh, that uh, generous package uh, will soon end uh, next year, April. But what will happen after the next year, April? And uh, that is what uh, Rishi Sunak will let us know. So we know that uh, if that energy price uh, cap stops as from the period of April, does that mean that inflation will, will return to double digits? Uh, we, have to, we have to see in the next uh, uh, spring. So, but we know currently that uh, uh, Jeremy Hunt, uh, which uh, the new chancellor, is going to announce his autumn uh, statement tomorrow, and um, and it's as we've already been contemplating that uh, uh, definitely tax will rise as well. We don't know what is inside that autumn statement, so we have to see, and uh, they have to have to find a way to bring confidence uh, and growth to the economy, and also finding a way to protect people, um, just to change uh, consumers uh, during this period of uh, price jump, as well as uh, to make sure that at least British uh, economics uh, is, is, is bring confidence into the market so that uh, uh, people that are also investing, especially the small and medium-sized uh, com uh, companies, uh, uh, they, they, they don't have a kind of hike when it comes to uh, inflations and they just don't have a kind of hike in terms of uh, massive closures of, of their businesses. Uh, you, 
you, I mean, a kind of an incentives that can help them, especially during this period of time. So we we'll, we'll see what what is currently going on, and uh, and uh, and you all know as well as well that uh, the price, uh, according to what we also had, that uh, there is currently um, uh, the UK uh, price uh, of have rose by 9.4% since September. But uh, the question you ask yourself is that uh, even though the supply is there, is the demand there as well? Because uh, mortgage rate has also uh, has increased as well. So people that are going to the first, bar, first, first time buyers, they will definitely be feeling the squeeze. And also, and um, we also know that uh, the economics uh, growth has dropped, so definitely, uh, uh, and uh, unemployment. I had the unemployment uh, increase, and also I had also from the autumn statement that Jim Hunt is going to create a package, whereby those people that are also currently uh, unemployment through sickness, uh, how they can encourage them to go back to work. Uh, so because uh, government has to find a way to bring confidence uh, into the market force. And the, so everybody is physically feeling the squeeze. And, the, and currently, you know, I know that the price of the uh, home, the average price currently, uh, is currently is about 295 thousand which is more than 26 percent uh, it's more than 20, 20 26 thousand higher as they we have from last year so but uh, what they are also anticipated that the price of um, price of uh, homes we 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 come to a stage whereby it will it, it will continue to slow down um, and even though mortgage there is still the high in mortgage cost. But because people are not going to be buying houses, because there is not enough of disposable incomes uh, in the house of people as well. So, so buying a house is I'm not sure whether that would be a major priority, especially those people that have money to spend. But the, but the other way around is that the price of, of rent has gone up. So, so it's, 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 it's just, it's just some, some of the things that uh, 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 the government needs to look into because definitely people have been affected. The economic is not really, people are feeling the heat and uh, things are not going the way we should expect. So we, we want uh, uh, Jeremy Hunt so, to find a way to bring a confidence into these markets to make sure that this uh, uh, household goods prices uh, finding a way how they can stabilize that and so that people can have something to spend also to finding a way to uh, not to tax a lot of uh, uh, low harness people people are currently facing a lot whether they can bring a kind of tax relief for them as well it's just a way of how they can help uh, every household uh, during this unprecedented, um, 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 unprecedented time, uh, time have changed. So uh, we just want, uh, uh, which is sooner, to find a way in order to uh, uh, project and bring confidence into the market. That's what we're trying to. Uh, that's that's the reason why we uh, we we uh, uh, sooner sooner was brought in. So. And that's the confidence and trust that people have uh, when it comes to recession. So let's see. Uh, uh, so let's see what will be in the autumn statement and see how we can go through each one of them and see what impact each one of them has on every one of or any one of us. So and I will speak to you later. You take care. Bye. So.